My name is Karen McWilliam and my great lesson is inspirational speeches. I'm going to write myself a speech. What sort of themes do I want in my speech to make it nice and inspiring, motivational, get everybody hyped up, make everybody believe in me? Nathan? Maybe like when you're rallying an army. OK, so if we're going to rally an army, what emotion do they want to have? Anger. Anger. Anger for what? Why do we want them to be angry? What are they fighting for? Like their freedom, maybe? Freedom. Shall we have freedom? Is freedom nice and universal? Good. There are certain fairly generic clauses and sentences that end up in most motivational or inspirational speeches. And the idea behind the lesson is that actually Year 7 pupils in particular find it quite difficult to actually start putting together structured, formal pieces of work. So what we did was take a random selection of buzzwords, I suppose, and um, put them all on a big sheet of paper and ask the pupils to actually select some, mix and match them, put them together, add in their own connectives, add in their own extra words, ideas, themes, emotions, and create a super speech. <laughs> The key learning objective for the lesson is actually the manipulation of language, that you're choosing very precise words that have a specific effect on the reader. So it's really trying to push them outside the boundaries of the language they've been using previously. I'm writing about hope to try and end a war, because on the news you hear nowadays about they have doubted the people going into war against Afghanistan, so it was the first idea I thought of. I've chosen to go back in time and rally an army for fighting a war for freedom. We've only been in Year 7 a few weeks now, but lessons like this are inspirational, like, it's really fun. I think I'm quite good at like using persuasive language and emotive, so something like this is really good for me to do because I enjoy it as well. I like it when I... Um, when we do something in a lesson and then I like it and I go and I go home and search on the internet or something and I find out a bit more. We were meant to do like one quote for homework and I ended up doing seven. <laughs> this lesson works really well because it gives the class a certain level of comfort because actually we're asking them to do something quite sophisticated, come up with a really effective speech that's inspiring but at the same time make it accessible to them. Right, you lot, we can't just stand around here and let them steal our dignity. We have to fight, scare the living daylights out of them. They're little against us if we join forces. We're a team, we stick together through thick and thin. We have to look at them, hate them, but certainly don't fear them. I guarantee if we go out there with our heads held high and our fists in the air, we will beat them, kill them, thrash them. And at the end, we will still have our dignity. Who's with me? Very, very good. Lovely. OK, go on, Ben. All right, this is your time. Victory or death? I've actually taught this lesson with Year 11s as a, a recap, and even they loved it, because it was kind of a way of making it fun again to look at persuasive writing, to look at persuasive language. They actually start looking at the structure of the speech and how it comes together. They actually start using imagery as well and blending it and adding levels of sophistication, which is really nice to see. Gentlemen of England, everyone should know that failure is not an option for us. We can break their army and cut out their living guts. Let's fight to fulfil that promise. Let us kill them with love for our families and hate for the enemy. So let's fight to the field an inch at a time. Victory or death, you're going to work harder than you ever have before. Believe me when I say, this is our day. So let's show them what we can do. Let's fight and never regret this battle. Fantastic! I was actually really pleased with the speeches that came up from today. Some of them were really, really fantastic. They really got the emotion and the passion behind it. Some of their language choices were really very, very effective. Um, and I think there's that sense of pride as well, because at the end of the lesson, they were the majority of the class had something that they wanted to read and something they wanted to share, and that's always, always the best end to any lesson. Yeah.